Happy learning! Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Uh, welcome to the video on pharmacological screening of anti-anxiety drugs or anxiolytics. We are going to see different models uh, yeah, in screening anti-anxiety drugs. So, let us see some of the basic terminologies uh, before studying anxiety in the animal models. So, first is quarantine. Separation of a newly received animal from those already in the animal house is called quarantine. So, this eliminates the chances of interspecies disease transmission, particularly anxiety and possible chances of physiological and behavioral changes. Thigmotaxis. It was actually described by Barnett, a scientist, in the year 1963. It is a phenomenon in which the rats remain close to the walls of the cages. The degree of thigmotaxis is usually considered as an index of anxiety. On the other hand, uh, non-anxious animals tend to move freely in the center of the chamber and do not show thigmotaxis. Unconditioned means it is uh, observation or a note on the ongoing and non-evoked behavior. Conditioned means it is a set of artificial environment which changes or evokes a change in behavior because we are going to use these terminologies the animal models of anxiety uh, are the unconditioned uh, reflexes include elevated plus maze elevated uh, z maze elevated t maze light and dark exploratory models whole boat test social interaction test open field test maternal aggression in rats isolation induced aggression defensive burying predator based models that is a cat exposure test ultrasound vocalization of isolated rat pups chemical uh, methods include uh, usage of chemicals such as mcpp and the animal models of anxiety which are conditioned that is conditioned operant uh, conflict that is, it, this includes training geiger shifter conflict test vogel conflict test and classic conditioning tests involve ultrasound induced defensive behavior test and fear potentiated startle reflexes the first one is elevated uh, plus maze it is a very widely used model to test the anxiety in the animals particularly rats and mice uh, it will have a height of uh, 40 centimeters or 50 centimeters and it will have a width of 50 centimeters it will appear uh, like a plus sign so the animal uh, the time spent by the animal uh, in the closed arm and the open arm and the number of entries in the open arm and closed arm are recorded in this so observation the animals are placed at the center of the maze and observation for five minutes the number of entries into open and closed arms are noted time spent in the open arms closed arms and central square are noted for the vehicle control and the uh, anxiolytic drugs which are administered to another group uh, nowadays uh, there is automatic uh, recording uh, and uh, the calculation is uh, done by the software itself the other mazes uh, apart from elevated uh, plus maze uh, includes uh, t maze which is uh, t in shape then y maze which is y in shape and other maze uh, which is radial maze in all the cases uh, they are, the animal is placed at the center and it is allowed to freely move to any of the arms and all of these have automatic recordings the next is uh, maternal aggression test so let us see this so this is an animal and its pups when an intruder comes this induces a maternal aggression or anxiety in the female rat so every parturient female is tested against a male intruder and the male intruder weight is should be less than that of the female parturient it is usually 25 gram less weight than that of the female next is social interaction anxiety test so let us say the a resident animal and uh, a new resident is added that is an experimental subject is added into the cage of the resident animal and it, it this causes a confrontation uh, which is approximately observed for three minutes and social sensory contact is also measured for 
24 hours which is done automatically and the next is uh, there is a empty cage where uh, there is an animal and uh, an intruder is uh, introduced into this increase in the social interaction indicates the general behavior whereas a decrease in time spent in the social interaction would indicate anxiogenic behavior so this model becomes a suitable model for screening of anxiolytic drugs the next is a whole boat test so the whole boat test will appear the apparatus will appear like this the animal is placed here and it is allowed to explore the holes so this test is based on the assumption that uh, head dipping activity that is the exploratory activity of animals is inversely proportional to the anxiety state the non anxious rats tend to explore the board and peep through the holes of the chamber higher the number of dips peeping through the holes indicates exploratory behavior and non anxious state open field test it is a very common test which is used in all the pharmacology labs so it will appear uh, like this the animal is placed in the central square and it is allowed to move through the different squares usually it will have 16 or 20 squares or uh, nowadays it is automated uh, procedure this method simultaneously measures uh, locomotion exploration and anxiety the non-anxious mice or rat tend to explore the board and have uh, increased number of line crossings and more number of rearings rearing is standing on the two legs and uh, exploring the environment it has also increased the number of central square entries and the duration of time spent in the central square as compared to that of the peripheral area in the non-anxious mice next is combined open field test it evaluates uh, the behavior of exploration and curiosity together the reduction in the locomotor activity that is the interruption of photocell beams usually this apparatus has a photocell beam when the animal crosses it will have a recording and the no smoking activity are compared with the control group next is a light and dark room exploratory testing so it includes a two chambers one is a dark room and one is a light room so this is a light room aversion of the animal to novel bright light and new environment is the source of anxiety here this method uh, simultaneously measures uh, locomotion exploration and anxiety the non-anxious animals uh, tend to explore uh, and spend more time in both the chambers whereas anxious animal tends to spend more time in the dark chamber next is foot shock induced aggression so the apparatus will look like this a uh, mild shock is induced for the foot uh, because it is placed in the grill which can uh, when we switch on uh, the grill will uh, have a shock in the foot of the animal foot shock induces anxious behavior in rats which is recorded automatically anxiolytic drugs reduces the anxiety when compared to the vehicle control groups the next is vogel conflict test it's a very famous test administration of mild shock after 20 licks on a zipper tube uh, in the anxiometer total number of licks and shocks um, is recorded that is uh, they are administered the shock is administered uh, for every 20th lick of the animal the performance of anxiolytics can be measured by comparing the drinking behavior of punished drugged rats to the behavior of punished vehicle control rats the next is fear potentiated startle response Startled response, it is a defensive reflux, a reflex uh, evoked by an unexpected and intensive stimuli. Sudden loud noise or a very bright light can be an inducer of anxiety. It is exaggerated st startle, uh, like a shock, like or freezing reaction to the sudden stimulus provided by an already stressed animal. Application of sound of very, very high intensity to anxious animals evokes a state of panic condition that is the concept of fear potentiated startle response the next is a chemical uh, induced aggression in rats uh, mcpp is a metabolite of trazodone uh, a antidepressant drug it is a 5 ht2c agonist which induces anxiety it induces uh, hypophagia hypolocomotion inhibits uh, social interaction in rats diminished exploratory activity in open field test in the light uh, dark box and also induces hyperthermia 
antagonism of these symptoms by anxiolytics has been used for the screening of anxiolytic drugs it's a very short information of uh, different models for screening of anxiolytic drugs i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends if you like this video press the like button go through all the series of videos in the pharmacological and toxicological screening playlist in the pharma topics channel thank you for listening thank you